he's been a world champion at this weight. And he's never been stopped, has he? He's a tough fight for anybody. We, we know in a way can be knocked down, mm-hmm. can be hurt. Well, Denise hurt him and uh, nearly's knocked him down. TJ's last three fights have been knockouts. He's Irish and he's fighting uh, in Australia. I don't think he's going to give up that easily. He might have a bit too much heart and I think his corner will do him a favour in round nine. I'm going to go round seven. KO. Welcome back to BoxCast. Today, we're going to be discussing the upcoming fight between Niawa, the monster in a way, and TJ, the power Dahini. That's going to take place on September the 3rd um, at the Ariaki Arena in Tokyo. So, shall I start with a tail of the tape? The do uh, record, in a way's record, is 27. Um, 27 and 0 and 0. He's had 27 fights, 24 wins by KO, which is an 89% record. He's age 31. His height height is five foot five, 165 centimeters. His reach is 60, uh, 67 and a half inches, 173 centimeters. Uh, uh, sorry, 171 centimeters. And the weight to fight that is the super, ba- super bantam weight, which is 122 pounds. And his stance is orthodox. And he's fighting against TJ Dehaney, who has a 26 and four and zero record. He's had 30 fights. He's got 20 wins by KO for a 77% record. He's age 37. He's uh, five foot five and a half, 166 centimeters. And he's 68 inch reach, 173 centimeters. Weight is the same, 122 pounds. And he fights out of a southpaw stance. Um, and it's undisputed super bantamweight, the monster, or the monster versus the power. Um, yeah, Simon, thoughts on, are you looking forward to this one? Always looking forward We're to always it. looking forward to the monster. <laughs> in a way, uh, in a way, <laughs> scrap, aren't we? Yeah. Um, it's, it's his mandatory, isn't it? TJ, I think, is his WBO mandatory. Well, well, I think, yeah, because I think he was, it's Goodman was, but then he's uh, gone off and had his fight or whatever, delayed it, whoever's delayed it. So that's been delayed. And I think the next mandatory was Dehaney. And he's actually quite well ranked in most of the things. Yeah, he's in the top 10 of all of them, I think. Yeah. So he's number seven on ring. He's second on WBO after Goodman, which is, I think, the mandatory. He's seventh on the IBF, he's seventh on the WBC, and he is sixth on the WBA. So, yeah, he's a top 10 ranked in all, as you've said. I don't, I'm just... There's a bit of chatter that, like, oh, why is he taking this fight? But the thing is, one of the things we like about anyway is he stays active. Yeah. Which we can't say about all these top fighters. I mean, He I tries thought, to do three or four fights. I thought year. his next fight would have been Goodman. Yeah, that's what it was, isn't it? And it, it yeah. was supposed to be on in July or June or July, one of the undercards things or the big fight. Yeah. And then I think Goodman's changed that. Or he got, one of them got injured or something, maybe Goodman, and then they've delayed it. He's had a fight in July. So I think this is to keep, in a way, busy and, you know, one of the other top 10 contenders. I think, like I said, that's the second mandatory on the WBO. Um, so that's why, I mean, you've got to look at it, but if you look at the ring one, He's beaten Fulton. He's beaten to Palace. Akhmedalia was the other one, but I think he's gone off to fight on like the Saudi card. So it's a bit early, but to Palace beat him anyway. That was the other guy fight. Then Goodman's the next in line, but obviously he's had his fight. So I think they're looking at Goodman in uh, about December time when in a way normally fights. Neri, he's already beaten. Uh, then there's Liam Davis, who's number six, and Dehaney seven. So, you know, it's the. It's not that. It's the next obvious fight yeah. you can have out of that list. Isn't um, it? Two of them are out the way. He's beaten three. I mean, of them. yeah. I mean, TJ's so, on a bit of a. He's on a. He's a good fighter, world class fighter. His last three fights, he's won all by KO. Um, if I get his thing, he so he is, is up there. Well, I mean, well, let's work on. Let's do Dehaney first because obviously we, we've done a lot enough of in a way. So he's known as the power. He's got a good seventy-seven percent knockout ratio. Um, he's, he's been a world champion at this weight. Um, yep, yeah, I think that's right. Yeah. So he's, he was the IBF super bantamweight champion 
for, and then he defended the fight, and then he fought Daniel Roman and got beat. Yeah, it was although a majority it was a, decision, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, but he was down in that fight twice. Um, Did you see the scorecard for that fight? Yeah, that's what I was just going to say, isn't it? One had it a draw and two had it 116, 110. Um, so it's quite a close fight if you take the if you take two knockdowns into account, isn't it? So Yeah, I mean... Uh, um, and I think uh, Roman cut his eye or something, didn't yeah. he? Or they had a headbutt or something. I mean, was, TJ's... Made it last couple of rounds. TJ fights out of Australia now. Yeah. Well, I think that's what he started. I think he moved from yeah, Ireland to, to Australia. Australia. So he's, he's used to fighting around that part of the globe, shall we say. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so I don't think that's going to be a difficulty, really. I mean, he's 37. Well, well he's fought a lot in Tokyo, and he's yeah. quite big in Tokyo, is why I think they've picked him as the next opponent, because he's won his last two, three in Tokyo. It's just, mm, he's had under, undercards or something. Is he going to call by, by TKO, problems. so... Oh, he's never been stopped, has he? Nope. I think it's only in that Daniel Roman fight he was down. I think he might he's been down a, a, a couple of times or a few times, but not that many. Yeah, but he's Irish, and he just yeah, they get, don't. keep getting back Irish up. fighting out of Australia. He's not going to give up, is he? So really, it's not like a good. Um, <laughs> God no. Because he's actually a few of his defeats. He went up to one twenty six, so which might have been a too big for him because because um, he lost to Daniel Roman, then he went to uh, one twenty six size. And then he won the first one, but then he's lost two fights there. So if you take them out, at 122, he's basically, um, he's only lost twice. One to Samuel Goodman, Sam Goodman on points, which was, you know, um, there. And it was fairly wide. Um, but Goodman didn't knock him out, although Goodman's not really a knockout artist. And the other one was the Daniel Roman which was the majority decision. So other than that, at 122, I think he's good. It's the two that the other two losses are at uh, 126 or thereabouts. Um, so he's pretty good at 122. And he's, like you said, good, good knockout percentage. But yeah. in world title fights, this like, is what I want to bring up. Well, maybe go on, you go first. I'll bring this up later because it sort of saying. leads into it in a way. So let's finish there. He might first. all be good at 122 until they face in a way. Um... <laughs> No, well, 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 I'm trying to lay the ground. He is a top 10 fighter. He's world no, he champion. Is, he is, he's no, world he, class. He, he is, he is just top, you're going up against. Yeah, he is a top 10 fighter. Um, so he's a world, I would say he's world class level. He has been good. He's a tough fight for anybody. Um, but we're speaking about the monster. So in world, you're going to say anymore on De Haney? Or oh, no, right, go on. I'll look for this. Four, uh, De Haney has had four world title fights, uh, which he's won two, won by KO, and he's lost two. The two we've mentioned against Goodman and um, yeah, uh, Daniel Roman. Now here's the bit that here's who he's fighting. Our man, Mister the Monster, has had 22 title fights. 19, he's won by KO. He's had 20 world title fights. So of his 27 fights, 20 have been world title fights, and 18 of them he's won by KO. Some record that, isn't it? So there's people who belittle him, isn't it? There's a certain bits who go, who has he fought? Well, 20 world champions to start 22. off with. And he's beaten 18 of them by KO. And and actually a couple of his decision wins have been when he started, when he was only in 108 pounds, yeah. obviously just getting used to it. And in the Nito Donaire's one, which was an epic fight in the first one, but then the second fight he beat him in two rounds. Um, 22 title fights, it's... Uh... Some go in that. Well, 22 title fights and 20 world title fights. So world level fights. And he's obviously a four-weight world champion. Uh, undisputed in two weights. So, yeah. Uh, uh, and, and let's just say he stepped up to Super Bantamweight by beating the number one ranked guy. Then he beat the number two ranked guy to become undisputed, yeah. and then he's fought <laughs> basically the long near. He was dangerous. I just, I'm wondering. I don't think this is going to be the easiest fight for him. This. No, no, Dehaney's a tough fight, and obviously Dehaney's not going to go all out swing, but he has got power, which is obviously the dangerous yeah, thing. Yeah, he has got power. He's good and defense as well. We we know in a way can be knocked down, mm-hmm. can be hurt. <clears throat> um, well, Dehaney's hurt him, and uh, Neri's knocked him down. So. <laughs> 
I think Denae has been the closest to getting him out of there, but obviously Denae is, you know, all of fame. Thing is, is when, yeah, is when you move up in these weight classes, you, especially from such a, you know, from like, what his first weight was one hundred and four pound, yeah, yeah, um, or something. Going on, scrolling back. Uh, well, one hundred and eighty started. One hundred and eight. Sorry. And then he's fought a couple around there. Then he's you he, up. you will feel the power difference. Mm-hmm. At, um, and I think he has felt the power power difference of this this weight division. Yeah, obviously he's just, he he, he's fighting fought, bigger guys. If you see uh, him against most of them, in I mean, uh, but he isn't I like too much it. bigger. But like, uh, I like it because he, the he is probably like he, a proper one. He shows off his. I think he shows off more of his boxing skills. Yeah, yeah. Um, and more as a more of a elusiveness, if you like. Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, if you look at, it, I think he's changed his game a bit. I think after fighting Denier, he realised even at the, uh, even though that was a low weight, that there's levels of you know you can, you're gonna face better opponents. And Denier is fantastic. All right, was he, he was aged, yeah, but he was a fantastic boxer, and he, you know he was a he put on a proper good show. And it, and the thing is, people are saying he's done. Well, I think he won. I think we mentioned this in one of our earlier videos. He won three of his fights after that by knockout. Denier. Yeah. So you know, as old as he is, he's still you know a damn good boxer. I mean. Uh, and and in a way, he's once he's worked them out in the second, you know, he had he broke his orbital bone, and I think, um, what else was it? And he broke his nose, I think, in that fight, and he's st- and f- fairly early, I think, he broke his orbital bone, didn't he? Second or third round, and he's gone on to basically still win the fight. Yeah, and yeah, but I think there's more to his game than just being a power puncher, which is what you're alluding to, isn't it? It's we've got to see a bit more of his actual. Boxing skills and yeah, uh, as he stepped up in he's, weight, he's, he's not just a power puncher. But I mean, um, obviously, he's carried his power and his yeah, speed he does up carry all his them. power. And and he's actually his funny thing. I was looking at it this morning. In this weight, he's knocked everybody out because <laughs> he started at one twenty two. He's Fulton, but I mean, if you look at the people he's fought in this, Fulton, Tapalas, and Neri, he he's the, KO'd it, all because he breaks them down. Yeah, systematic, systematic he breaks them system, down. He? Yeah, um, he sits. He sits more on his punches now as well, mm-hmm. which I've noticed. Um, he's not just a... No, it's his timing. You know, his timing's a lot better well, now. I was trying to punching. think of an analogy. Do you want to hear what the one I came up with? Oh, there we go. <laughs> he's like, um, he's a sniper with a minigun. He hits loads of punches, but he's laser accurate yeah. on every punch. He is. He isn't very, he doesn't waste punches. But it's and but he can do it with every punch. He's got the the left rights to the body that you feel when you watch the fights. You know you can feel it from here, even though Tokyo is quite far away. He's got the straight one which he used against Fulton because Fulton's got the longer arms and he was protecting against the side punches and he was protecting his head. He just used the straight jab to the body and broke him down with yeah. that and set him up. Um, against the palace, he used all the side body shots really to. Try and slow him down. And Tabalas gave him a hell of a fight. Yeah, he finds the angles, doesn't he? And and even after Neri gave him a shock, he just broke him down. And he can punch with both hands with power. He can punch to the body. He can punch to the um, obviously to the face as well. He can do um, hooks, uppercuts, straights, whatever. He is, his basics are very, 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 very good. Yeah. And then his foot movement in and out is fantastic. His his range finding is fantastic. Um. Yeah, we're just eulogizing on the monster. Yeah, I like I like his timing. Mm. Um I think people miss it because they just see like highlight reels of KOs, isn't it? And miss how good a boxer he actually is. Yeah, yeah, he's and his be, boxing he IQ. He is a really, really good boxer. And, his, uh, and that's why he's been able to go up. He is a really good boxer, and I think He's a really good boxer with like Godzilla like power. So it's like dangerous. <laughs> um but he's not a one punch. Like, even though it looks like it's one punch ones, if you watch his highlight reel, if you actually watch the fight, it's like you said, it's systematic breakdown yeah. of his opponent. Like I said, I wouldn't say he's... Yes, he, he, he obviously does carry power. Um, he carries power in both hands. And he, but I think it's more his speed. It's his speed it's and speed time. and accuracy and timing. Um, yeah. And like I say, he plants his feet now. Because um, I think in his early career, a lot of his punches were aren't what I call arm punches. Um, yeah, he's got better. If you look at how his fights are going, even in this division, you see him getting better. Um, 
and and he's slightly altered the way he's fought because Fulton was the boxer, so he's broken him down with body jab rather than the the, the hooks to the body. Um, Tapalas he went the other way, trying to slow him down. Obviously, Tapalas was a warrior, gave him a really good contest, but he still broke him down and beat him, and nearly knocked him down, and he still got up and basically won every round, and then still went at him um, and broke him down. And they're all really tough, really good fighters. Do you think um, TJ will believe that he can beat him? Yes, because I don't think he can go into a fight. But I, I'm not so sure, sure how much belief, how, how much faith there is in that belief, how much faith he has behind his belief. It, it's probably going to be a small amount. Um, but he does have power, so they, and he's got a good defense. So if he can hold him off and... You know, I hate up. that though. Good defense because it that's my worry with this fight is that if he doesn't believe that he can win it, it's going to be... just going to defend. It's going to be a ball fest. It'll just be in the way following him around the ring while he's like oh, covered up. Um, well, he's a good counter puncher as well. I know, but... I mean, to be honest, the, if, if you, most of this really is, it's not, I don't think it's really who's going to win. I think the question here is, is in a way going to knock him out? That's really the question <laughs> to answer because obviously he hasn't been stopped. I don't think it's whether he's going to win. I think there's probably a 99% chance that n the monster's going to win. Yeah, but, I get But, the, but this, I think it's the nature of the victory. Yeah, this can is, he survive for the 12 rounds? It's not can he survive? It's, it, this is my problem with... Well, he can't survive if he goes defensive it's, because Butler tried that, didn't he? Yeah, I and mean, a lot just of, got him to eleven rounds and destroyed him. But a lot of fighting. It was like when Canelo was fighting the likes of Charlo and stuff. Is they didn't go in there to win. They didn't go in there to win at all. Well, I think they went in there to survive. I think Dehaney will because Dehaney is like he's been a world champion. He's sort of if you listen to some of his things and 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 his fights, he's trying to get back to be world champion. And the kudos on beating this guy. <sighs> I don't think he's just a pay packet. I think he's got a name there anyway, and he'll want to put on a good fight, so he will fight. The problem is the, the level of talent that he, he's a world-class fighter, but he's against an elite, a real elite fighter who yeah, has it, like who has everything. There's no real weakness. It's his and last. that's his problem. And yeah, and it's probably his last chance of getting there. Yeah, well, he's 37, isn't he? Yeah. yeah so, I, I mean, look, he's only three, three years younger than me. I can't even get out of bed anymore. <laughs> um... I'm just hoping that he has, he does have. I think he's going to put on a belief. performance because he has, like, in Japan, he's got a following and he has put good fights on there and that he goes for it. I don't think he's going to complete. I mean, he may go into his shell after a couple of rounds of, of when, once he faced the monster, like Fulton did, where he, but Fulton still bounced back a little bit. But all the fights he's had of this, everybody's given it a go. Fulton's given it a go. Tapalas like, is giving it a go. Nearly's last, giving it a go. It's last and three. Tapalas and Nearly were good. No, it, it you know back TJ's last three fights have been knockouts. Mm. Um, you know, and he does seem to if he loses, he he does he bounces back. It doesn't seem to affect him badly. Yeah, he's not. It's Irish and he's fighting in um, Australia. I don't think he's going to give up that easily. He's going to go into it with some belief. It's just we don't know how much belief, and then we'll find out. But I think in a way he's going to have to bring a few game plans in to break him down yeah i think it's gonna have to it, it's gonna be more of how good in a way you can break him up but he's like you said he fought paul butler who was basically defensive every single round trying to last the fight yeah, and he still got him it, it proper winds me up that go out and shield i know yeah. that's easier said than done but you're going in against you don't, you don't chances if you're going to fight. If you don't fight, he's just going to hunt yeah, you down. Yeah, TJ's got power. Swell blood. Yeah. And, and good punches. He's got, and he's we got know in a way he can be hurt. Yeah. So have the belief that you... Because you knock this guy out, you are an overnight superstar. Yeah, yeah. Well, he's achieved what he wants to Because it, it's got to the point now where anyone fighting in a way, if you beat him... Yeah, you're overnight. It's the, it's the biggest upset in boxing. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, that's how highly yeah, yeah. rated anyway is. Um, he's expected to bulldoze well, well, pretty much good, everyone. Full, that's how good anyway is, full yeah. stop. You know, um, as Bob Adam would say, it's the best so fighter he's ever seen. Go in so. <laughs> and have belief that you can you can yeah, yeah. do something. Um 
Because like you say, boxing can change one punch. Everyone knows that. One punch mm-hmm. and it's all over. Um, is he, he could get lucky and, and land that punch, but he's got to have belief. Yeah. He really has. throw the punch. If you don't throw the punch, you can't, you can't belief, land the punch. Um, um, and I hope he has got the belief to go in there and... I think I have a sneaky feeling this is going to be a good fight. Well, all the fights of this division, this weight, have been good. I mean, all of in a ways are fights are fantastic because he's just you know it's just a matter of time. But yeah, unless he completely bottles it, I think he should put up a good fight. But he will get systematically broken down. I don't think he's good enough on his defense or good enough in attack. Obviously, age ain't going to help him and all the other bits and pieces. I think they're just it's not yeah. against him. I think he's a world class fighter. I just think in a way is that special that it's just a matter of time. It's whether he can get him out of there it might be a statement from in a way as well because the Sam Goodman giving it, oh, he's just fighting my leftovers. <laughs> Typical Aussie. But, um, Why aren't you fighting him then, mate? Yeah. But, do you you know, if he knocks him out, then what's he going to say afterwards? You just set yourself up to look like an idiot. <laughs> um, and there's a good chance he will. Yeah. Because he's been knocked down, and if you've been knocked down, I think there's a good chance you're gonna get. He's gonna catch you at some point, or that he's too good not to. And then if he smells blood, it's you know, good night, yeah, goodbye, yeah, and see you soon. Well done, you burned your money. <laughs> Bye. See you next lecture. <laughs> and he's already done it to the three three fighters rated higher than him anyway in that division. So. Um, but like I said, the chance that Haney's got is if he doesn't completely go into a shell, Box is a bit smarter. He's got a punch. You know, I don't think one punch is going to knock out in a way. But if you can put some together, rock him, and then you've got a chance. And rock him early on, and then get, you've got to get his respect. If you just let him walk on you, like Canelo does to people, if you don't get his respect, it's just, gonna be, it's just, it's just it's a matter just of time. It's a long, long night for you. Yeah. Um, I... Um, what do you think? You think he has a chance? No. No. I don't think anybody does. I hate saying that. But do I hate saying that? Yeah, because no, you do want to give got a chance. You do give you want to give people chances, but I just don't think I, I can see weaknesses in his game and you can't really see a weakness in inner ways. Right? Really you've got to just have the chance of beating in a way is unless you I don't think there's anybody in that division outboxes him. The best boxer was Fulton, and he just destroyed him. Uh, Tapalis had loads of heart and is a really good boxer. And, you know, we gave him loads of kudos in the video we did him, but he just, you know, he beat him. Neri is really tough, you know, gave it a really good go, even managed to knock him down, and he still got obliterated. But where does, <laughs> so, where does Inoue go after this fight? Uh, Goodman to shut him up and then move on to the next. Well, I mean, there's two guys, isn't it? There's Akhmedaliev they want to make because I think that's who he's supposed to fight instead of Tabalas, but Tabalas beat him um, and got the other two belts. And Akhmedaliev is the up and coming one they rate and whatever else. And this Goodman is the next like mandatory, isn't it? So um, the sort of talk is that after this one, um, then it's Goodman for this year and I think next year he's looking at moving up to 126 where there is a lot of very tasty fighters waiting we'll be having different conversations huh? yeah yeah um no I can't see nothing but an in a way win mm. um so I, then I hope he does fight Goodman after this as well yeah um I think gets the point then what are we going for you can unanimous this oh you can go first you know this you know what round <laughs> Because that's the really only the question, isn't it? No, I think TJ... Is he tough enough to last the 12 rounds or mm. do you think he's going to take it out? I think his corner pull him out. Okay. I think he's going to be... Write it down. Yeah, yeah. I think what, he's going to be dead really, really brave. He's going to show lots of gut and lots of heart. Um, but I think um, he might have a bit too much heart and I think his corner will do him a favour in round nine. Okay. TKO, round nine, the corner stopper. That's a, like a... I'm going to go for round seven. KO. 
Well, KOTK or whatever. Stop pinching around seven. No, you need to be... Look, I've been dead pissed. <laughs> I can't say uh, that KO. way. KO. KO. Round seven. And I'm going for the corner stopper. Round nine. Well, KO, I'm going to go for, yeah, KO. The, the referee stops it. <laughs> so, TK, okay. In there, but yeah. And, but... I think body shots are going to make a difference as well. But yeah, I think the corner will stop it. Round nine, corner stoppage. Yeah, I can see how they them. So we both think you're going to last the whole... No, you've got a pen. Right? No. Cool. I don't. So... Um, the fight's on what day? It's on the 3rd of September, which is, I believe, a weekday. Let me just check. And uh, It's on the zone. Tuesday. Tuesday. So, is um, it on the zone, did you say? Uh, I think it's on Sky, Guy. isn't it? Tuesday at uh, 10 o'clock. Usually like 10 o'clock in the morning, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and then the fight's about 12. Yeah. In a way, this is the Hingley TV channel. Like it, like it. A Sky Sports main event. Perfect. That's my Tuesday afternoon sorted. Standard oh, no, I can't. But, yeah, that'd be good. It's 7.30 in the morning, they're saying, till 7 1, 1 p.m. So it might be a little bit. So it's about yeah. 10 or 11, the main fight, isn't it? But last time it was a little bit late on it when we've watched along and stuff. But okay. The Fulton one. I will look forward to that. Yeah. And they usually have a couple of good... You might not know who they are, but they usually have a couple of good fights on the yeah, undercard. they have some, they have some good fights. In there in... But, I mean, Dehaney's been a couple of them undercards, hasn't he? So, Yeah. So the monster versus the power. The power. That's uh, our man's nickname, the Haney. So, yeah, he's got a chance. Not much of a chance, but he's got a chance. Mm. Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. yeah, and then we'll see. Just shows how highly we think of anyway, though, isn't it, when we're not really giving these people a chance. Top 10 rated, world former yeah. world champion. Um, and we're just... I'm not dismissing them. We've given them as much as we can, <laughs> so we can give them hope. <laughs> yeah. Every well, everybody's got a chance. Like you said, it's a one punch. Any punch can change. It. And he has got power. He's got a 77 percent knockout ratio, which is pretty damn good. But I think just that the levels, this levels, and in a way, is a different level, um, as he's shown to anybody in this division. And I don't think Dahini is the best in the division. He hasn't been. He's not. a... There, he's a very, very good fighter. He's a world class fighter, former world champion, but in a way, he is yeah. Different. What did I say before? Twenty world title fights, eighteen wins by KO. Yeah. He, um, uh, well, but he's never in a bad fight, is he? So. Oh, he's worth watching anyway. Just for the you know, even if it's a one sided show, it's just the systematic breakdowns are um, yeah. worth watching. And he normally does like it's a systematic breakdown. Then, really, really. Fast, so he does like to put on a show. Um, yeah, let us know what you think in the comments. Do you think it's one-sided? Do you think he's going to KO him? And yeah, like, subscribe, and all the usual goodness. And uh, yeah, enjoy the fight. We will. The monster. The monster is always enjoyable. And see you in the next video. Yeah. Thank you.